which character do you think has changed the most over the course of the MCU? It's a tricky question. Everyone has gone through so much over the last like 14 years that it's wild to remember where some of our favorite characters started and where they are now. Be it a physical change, a personality shift, or just a complete dismantling of previously held ideals, these are the characters who have transformed the most in the MCU. And yes, we will be talking about Hawkeye's haircut. Let's get started. Can you believe the God of Thunder is getting a fourth movie? When all this first started, would you have guessed that Thor was the character who would have such a radical character change that we would demand more movies? It's crazy. It's a good look. But if you actually look at it, Thor is the character who has probably changed the most on a physical level and an emotional level throughout his time in the MCU. He started off as a cocky, arrogant warrior who wanted to be king, and throughout his time in the MCU, he's lost just about everything there is to lose and became a king for a short time, only to realize that his destiny might be elsewhere. Without my hammer, I can't. Are you Thor, the god of hammers? That's a huge character shift, and it's one that will continue to be explored in future movies. But then, of course, there's the physical stuff we have to mention. Remember how he started in the MCU? He had bleached eyebrows. And then he went through his big fat Thor phase, and now he's looking absolutely jacked, like more so than he's ever been for Thor 4. When you talk about character changes, Thor is the prime example on all levels. Black Widow started the MCU as a mysterious side character, and although we didn't really know it at the time, she had a lot of red in her ledger. As we've gotten to know her through the MCU, she's transformed from side character to a full-on leader of the Avengers. And as we've learned about her past and character, one thing became clear. She would do anything for family. She saw the Avengers as a makeshift family of sorts, and it's why she worked so hard to keep all sides happy in Civil War. And then, after Thanos snapped his fingers, it was Natasha who stepped up and led the team, trying to keep the peace not only on Earth, but across the whole galaxy as well. And then, of course, she sacrificed herself to give Hawkeye's family and everyone else a chance to come back in Endgame. So I think it's safe to say that we met her with a lot of red in her ledger thanks to her assassin work, but by the end, she wiped that slate clean and became one of the universe's greatest heroes. Captain America has a bit of a controversial ending when you think about it character-wise. He started the series as a do-gooder who would do anything for his country and to always fight for the little guy. He could do this all day, right? Well, actually, he couldn't. In the end, after turning his back a bit on his country to become a nomad and learning to trust his own sense of right and wrong, Cap was a key figure in saving half the galaxy. But after he was done, he decided to think of himself for once and went back in time to live his life with Peggy Carter. Now, although the character got a much-deserved break and got to be overall happy, it's such a shift from where he started as a character who would give up his own happiness if it meant protecting other people. Scarlet Witch even sounds different than when we first met her. It's crazy to think about how Wanda is now one of the most powerful magical beings of the MCU and is the one who kicked off Phase 4 and will continue to play an important part in the ongoing multiverse saga. She started the series as an angry rebel who wanted revenge against Tony Stark. But through all her appearances, Wanda not only dropped her Sokovian accent, but also became more and more powerful. She also probably suffered the second biggest losses in life next to Thor. She lost both her brother and her true love multiple times, and that shaped her into the sorceress she is today. That grief helped kickstart WandaVision, and now she's adamant about saving her two, maybe fake children, by traveling through the multiverse. Plus, she now has a more comic-accurate costume, which is super neat. Tracking Loki's transformation is tricky because the Loki we now know and love isn't the same Loki we fell in love with. The whole variant thing throws a wrench in the whole character development, but we can at least say in a lot of timelines, a lot of Lokis evolve the same way. They start off a little upset with their lot in life, they trick their way into positions of power, and near the end, they realize how much their brother means to them, and try to be somewhat of a hero. Can you imagine going back to the premiere of the first Thor movie and telling your younger self that the villain of Thor would eventually become such a fan favorite that he would get his own television show after meeting his demise and being the linchpin to the entire multiverse? I couldn't. Alright, I'm going for the easy joke. Bruce Banner has probably changed the most out of anyone on this list because he started the MCU looking like Ed Norton. Boom, nailed it. Anyways, Bruce Banner has changed an extraordinary amount, and I'm not just talking about how physically the Hulk looks more like Mark Ruffalo with every passing movie. No, I'm talking about how it's wild to think about how Bruce started in the MCU on the run and deeply afraid of the other guy who he couldn't control. 
Juxtapose that to Endgame, where the two personalities are merged together and working as a team, and that's a truly unique transformation. Thanos is definitely the villain who changed the most from their first and last appearance. Early on, it was clear that producers had a slightly different idea for Thanos. He was an odd shade of purple, he wasn't played by Josh Brolin, and it looked like they were trying to follow the whole Thanos is in love with death thing from the comics. But of course, all that changed over time. He went from a silent big bad operating in the background to the MCU's best villain in Infinity War to a more generic destroy everything villain in Endgame before his ultimate demise. That's already a big change, but also let's throw in how technically his last appearance is in What If, where we see what happens if Thanos was talked out of his evil plan and became a good guy. Hey, we like good guy Thanos now. Cool. The only reason I put Hawkeye on this list is because I want to talk about his hair. I mean, come on, look at that. It's like a weird mohawk mullet hybrid. Like, he made that choice. He went to a barber and asked for that after having relatively normal hair at the beginning of the MCU. Like, his barber should have realized his grief was talking and denied him the haircut, but here we are. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I should say other things about Hawkeye. He also changed a lot as he went from being the brainwashed butt of every joke in the Avengers to one of the team's most valuable members. I guess that counts for something. Sam Wilson is the first hero to transform and upgrade from sidekick to main hero. He's gone from Falcon to Captain America, and the journey he went through in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV show in order to accept the shield was incredible. And his future isn't done yet now that he's carrying the shield, as officially there's a Captain America 4 in the works with Sam Wilson as the lead. Not bad for someone who started the series trailing behind Steve Rogers while running and commenting how he does everything Cap does, only slower. Now this means every sidekick can transition to the main hero. Come on, make Louise Ant-Man, you cowards! Bucky Barnes is another sidekick who underwent a dramatic character arc and transformation. He started in the MCU as a soldier and Steve's best friend. But then, after a small fall from a train, he went through a long period of being a brainwashed Russian assassin. The Winter Soldier seemed unstoppable, until Steve found him again and was able to help him clear his mind to get back to normal. Then, after an extended stay in Wakanda, Bucky finally broke free of the brainwashing and became his own person again. Instead of a mopey, silent, long-haired assassin, he became a fun dude who went to Sam's neighborhood, potlucks, and even flirted with Sam's sister. Talk about a major transformation. I would have included Paul Rudd's Ant-Man on this list, but let's be honest. Paul Rudd is an immortal baby face who will look the same long after we're all old and gray and sitting in a retirement home eating tapioca pudding. Hey, that means probably we'll get at least 27 Ant-Mans, which is fine by me. You know, as long as Louise gets an Ant-Man suit eventually. 